how's everybody doing so far today? My name is Steven Rosenberg and this is Gene Ginsberg and welcome to Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes. Today, we're very much focused on 2017 and goal setting and what you can do as a business owner to really look forward and start planning out some of the major goals that you have in 2017. I think it's very important to get a really good look on some of the major topics that you want to focus on over the course of the year before the year begins because then you can constantly keep yourself accountable throughout the year there's a lot of different tools out there to do this there's a lot of different uh, uh, topics and all these different kinds of opinions out there but what we're going to be talking about today is how to effectively set those goals and be able to execute them Gene? Sure. So there's a few things that I want to talk about today. So one is a setting up a content calendar. So if you have a blog or a video blog, which is a, a vlog like this one, then setting up a content calendar, I have found to be, it's extremely helpful and it's uh, part of your goal setting. And also it just allows you to create or like think about the content that you want to create and then just put it in an Excel spreadsheet and then as you're going along you know every week or however often you're doing your content you actually have the the topic that you want to talk about so you can write it you could do a video about it and it's much easier than just having to come up you know on your weekly blog and you're like oh what am I gonna write about this week like I don't really know so creating a content calendar and it could be surrounded you know things that are going on in the industry in general like in your industry or maybe perhaps related to like holidays I mean there's many different strategies as to how you want to do that but I'd say creating a content calendar now for the next three to six months so that way you have something um, set up and you don't have to think about it what do you what are your thoughts on that Steven? So yeah, I agree with that. I, I think the six month or three month idea is really good. Um, I always try to map it out for a year and then you know maybe quarterly check in with some of those goals to see where I'm at. But I do like, especially because of the way that technology is changing so much faster than it ever has before, I think it's a lot more realistic to set three or six month goals as well. So I, I do like that. Cool. And the other uh, thing that I wanted to talk about that is a, you know, we're talking about productivity and we're talking about, you know, doing tasks and making sure that we're getting all of our goals done and just like our daily tasks done. And so one of the things that I have come across recently and I actually haven't used it yet, but I really am looking forward to using it, uh, is a method called the Pomodoro method. So the way it works is that you take uh, a clock um, or let's say you take your phone and you set it up for 25 minutes set it up a timer for 25 minutes and the way it is is that you you set it up and then you just turn off your phone turn off your email so you're not getting distracted and you work and you do a task for 25 minutes and then you have a five minute break at the end so the reason why this Pomodoro method is I've heard it, good things about it is as People know that like it's only 25 minutes and they have a break at the end so they can kind of plow through this task that they're doing and you know know that it's going to be over soon and it's just a good way to really buckle down you know sit down and and finish something. Have you used something like that in the past Steven? I I have not. I've tried different things like that. But I never can seem to do it consistently. Uh, but it does sound like a really good idea. I feel like it'd be really effective. I know it has been effective the couple times that I've done it. I just don't know why, but I cannot seem to continue that cycle for a year or something like that. Oh, yeah, I think we're all different. So some people, you know, it might be a good idea for them. Some, some people might work differently. Um, yeah, and then the last piece about productivity is um, an accountability partner. So I actually just uh, got myself an accountability partner a few weeks ago. And what an accountability partner is, for some of you who might not know, is it's a person that you connect with, um, could be a friend, could be a colleague, and they, uh, you connect with them like on a regular basis. So it could be maybe once a day, once a week, depending on what your goals are and what your how you work. And so this accountability partner then and 
basically discuss with them all the projects that you're working on and they're helping you get your projects done you know so basically by saying like hey did you finish this you know google analytics project that you were working on is that done or did you finish this other client project that you were working on so it's a good way to keep yourself accountable so that way when you are you know working on projects um you have somebody to kind of push you <laughs> a little bit what are your thoughts steven I really like that idea a lot. I would love to have an accountability coach. I always try to lock myself into different commitments. I'm always constantly trying to set myself up for the next thing because that kind of in and of itself helps keep me accountable to what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, to have a coach or someone you know on my shoulder constantly, hey, did you do that? Hey, did you do that? That would probably help a lot. Uh, and especially with, again, technology, I'm sure you can do that through online. That would be phenomenal. Yeah, there's actually a website called Stick, S-T-I-K-K, -K, so two Ks at the end. And it's <laughs> basically like a technology accountability partner. So I think you, I haven't actually used it, but I've heard about it and you set it up. And if you don't finish your project on time, like you, you know, like, like you promised that you would, then you have to donate some sort of uh, like whatever amount of money that you decided in the beginning. So basically like when you set it up, he's like, if I don't finish this project, I will donate $50 to a charity or something That's like that. Yeah. It, I, I would check it out. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to check it out, but it seems kind of That's cool. Smart. Yeah. That is, I like that. That's good. Cause I would definitely finish tasks on time if I knew I was going to lose 50 bucks. Yep. So, <laughs> and maybe, you know, maybe if it's a big project, maybe the stakes are higher, right? So maybe you, it's, you know, it's 250 right. bucks or a 500 bucks or something yeah. like that. So you definitely don't want to lose that kind of money. Yeah, well, that'll be interesting to hear that, how that works out for you. I'd love to hear from the audience if anyone else uses a similar accountability coach or if they have any specific goals for 2017. We're always interested to hear any ideas or if you want us to discuss any specific topics for entrepreneurship, business, uh, paid social media, any of those kind of things, we would be more than happy to answer. Great. You want to add anything no, else? No, I think we're good. Thank you so much, Stephen. Absolutely. Thank you, Gene. And thank you, guys. Make sure you have a green day and we'll be talking to you soon.